the No Fake channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and we are reviewing all four of the brand new barbells that Rep Fitness just simply sprinkled in today out of the clear blue yonder. And after we review them, you are gonna help me pick which one I'm gonna buy and do a full length review. For those of you not familiar, let's go back just a little bit. 2022 Rep Fitness hints that they are dropping a whole slew of new barbells with some teaser reels. They then do a dog and pony show at the Arnold's Classic in Ohio, as well as Home Gym Con in French Lick, Indiana, where people can go see these bars in action, get their hands on them and see how they look, how they feel, all that good stuff. They added to that by releasing these videos for their Colorado bar, their Double Black Diamond, their Hades, their Helios bar, as well as the Alpine bar. Now, so far on the reviews, I have reviewed two. They've been fantastic. People have liked them. They've exceeded people's expectations. They've come in right where they think they should come in. I didn't think they were gonna release any more bars, but I was absolutely wrong. If this video is looking a little bit different than my previous videos, guess what? My desktop computer has died and we are trying to do some CPR. I've got it out for repair, but I don't know when it's gonna come back. Now, is that gonna stop me? Is that gonna slow me down? Heck no, we're still going full steam ahead. And Rep Fitness drops a teaser reel, or at least I thought it was a teaser for future bars, but no, they are live. And it's not just one bar, it's four bars. There is a Delta Basic bar, there is a Mesa Technique bar, Black Canyon bar, which I think replaces the Black Saber bar. We've got the Teton bar as well. And these are all live today and we're gonna talk about them. Rep Fitness really did a full court press on these bars by not only dropping the teaser, sending out an email to their entire distribution, but they also released not one, but four review videos detailing what the purpose is of these barbells. And uh, this is absolutely a full court press. Did not see this coming. T Rep Fitness known for having tons of adjustable bench options, not necessarily known for barbells, but they are clearly making that known now that they they are the place to go for barbells. As we go through the review, I want you to comment below which one of these I should review in the future. Get my hands on and do a full review of, of it. So, okay, Teton Training Bar, $280, 20 kilograms, 28 millimeter shaft, International Weightlifting Federation uh, markers. We've got Volcano Knurling, Needle Bearings, and the sleeves are ribbed. That's usually a no-no for me. I typically hate ribbed sleeves not sure where they went this route but i'm sure they've got their reasons static rating of 1500 pounds which is just about my max this is your daily reminder to use my affiliate links which are in the description of today's video and if you shop amazon there is an amazon link down there and it's the best one why because it takes a little bit of money out of jeff bezos's pocket a little bit of money out of his ex-wife's pocket she didn't earn it anyway, and it puts it into my pocket so that I can afford my home gym addictions. Delta Basic Bar. Now, this starts off at 180, which is nice to see that they have a low price option here. And it looks like it comes in bright chrome and bright chrome in terms of the sleeves and the shaft. And this is probably what a lot of people are going to be clamoring for because most people do want budget equipment because they're not trying to break any records. In terms of stats, we've got a 29 millimeter shaft, volcano knurling, brass bushings, medium weight, and 135 KSI. So clearly this is not going to be handling your max loads. This is for someone that's much lighter on the lifting because it has a maximum static rating of 700 pounds. Mesa Technique Bar coming in at 15 pounds. This is for those of you that are looking to work on your technique. Aluminum shaft with Duracoat sleeves. And this is made for some serious reps. For those of you that are looking to kind of lock in your technique uh, without destroying your uh, central nervous system, this might be the way to go. No center knurling, 15 pounds, 28 millimeter shaft, powerlifting and weightlifting, federation markers, 37.5 KSI, so obviously not meant to handle much weight. That's why it's a technique bar. As And the knurling is light. Black Canyon Mixed Use Bar, and I think this is the upgrade of their Sabre Bar. Now, they had a bunch of barbells before that they have now discontinued and replaced with this now plethora of barbells. And I own the Black Sabre Bar, and I love it. Um, but I, uh, I picked it up a couple years ago, and it still takes some serious abuse that I throw at it and comes back for more. This one comes in at 249 if you want bright zinc on the sleeves and the shaft. 
And if you get it murdered out, you get black chrome, black chrome on everything. Black on black, that is going to be 270. 20 kilograms, 28.5 millimeter shaft, no center knurling. That knurling is volcano knurling powerlifting weightlifting federation markers as well as hybrid ball bearings and this thing has a max static load of 1500 pounds with a medium whip whether you like or hate rep fitness you have to admit when it comes to 2023 they've had a banger year and they have released more equipment than the rest of the field combined now titan fitness rogue as well as bells of steel signature fitness and a host of others they've all been releasing stuff throughout the year but it hasn't been much i don't know if they're waiting for right before thanksgiving but if you look at what everyone else has released compared to rep fitness it's almost equal so rep fitness is almost equal the entire rest of the field and it is fantastic to see as someone who likes to review equipment and likes and thinks that more equipment is just better for the consumer overall <laughs> Rep Fitness known for having a bunch of different adjustable benches and now they're known for having a whole bunch of different barbells. It'll be interesting to see what they release next. I, for one, am looking for those American-made six-shooter plates that they brought to the uh, home gym con. That's one of the things I've really been clamoring for. And if Rep Fitness, if you're watching this, now is better than later, right? Drop those bad boys so I can pick myself up a couple of pairs. Comment below which of the four rep fitness barbells you want me to get my hands on to review. And if you want to see another great home gym video that's edited way better than this one, then check that out. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are like my daughter and non-supervision. And we're best friends. Shake and bake. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.